Hello YouTube, it is Marty McConnell, the off-grade gecko, and my hair's all messed up because I haven't bothered cleaning it since, <laughs> since I got out of bed this morning. I had kind of a rough start and woke up and the uh, house was like 82 degrees because the wood stove was kicking all night and went to open a window and spilled a bunch of crap and it just, it's just been a rough morning. Um, but today I'm going to talk about this, my magic wonder bucket here. Um, so I'm going to be washing some clothes this morning. I work in precast concrete right now for a day job. So I always have jeans that are totally soiled. I don't wash them every day because that would drive me freaking insane. So I'll wear like the same pair of jeans all week and then try and wash them on the weekend. So um, there's a thousand different ways to wash clothes off grid. They all work pretty much the same. I mean, if you open like your washing machine or you go to the laundry mat and look in the washing machine, a washing machine is actually a very, very simple device, like way more simple than people give it credit for. You've basically got a strainer in there and uh, you've got an agitator in the middle, which is a little thing poking up or if it's a side mounted thing, like it'll spin to agitate the clothes or whatever. But that's basically what you're doing is you're taking your clothes and you're putting them in water and you're just agitating the crap out of them and so all this little um dirt particles and stuff they get absorbed by the soap and the soap will like bind to them um may go to the whiteboard one of these days and do a little demonstration on how soap works because it's kind of interesting like the little molecules will actually cling to a piece of dirt and then they'll they'll peel it off the clothes and suspend it in the water even though the dirt's not really soluble like the soap will kind of suspend it and it gets it out and that's why you get the the nasty wash water um so you just basically agitate the crap out of them all the dirt comes off and you are left with more or less clean clothes then you just have to dry them and drying is of course a process all of its own so how your washing machine originally wrings the clothes out is by spinning really really fast and that centrifugal force like pushes the water out through those little strainer holes in the side of the washing machine and basically just drains off all the nasty water and then it'll do this for two or three cycles so what you want to do is agitate you want to basically mimic what a conventional washing machine is doing okay so the way that i do that on the cheap I've got a bucket and a bucket and a lid costs about three or four bucks most places from Walmart or anywhere else that you get one. And what I've done here, just take this off so I can show you. And I'm not going to take the whole thing apart because that takes too long. But I basically drilled the hole in the lid of the bucket and you can see it's cracked up. I don't know if you can see that over time just from use. That's fine. Um, if you want to reinforce this hole somewhere, you somehow you probably put a bushing in there or something to keep the lid from cracking and doing this um it's easy enough to just go get another lid for a dollar at this point but i may next time i sacrifice a lid for this project like i might do something to reinforce that seam and then inside i've got a plunger just a regular old toilet bowl plunger so basically i just unscrewed the rubber part pop the rod through there and screw the rubber part back on um, this one has this nice little T handle, which is easier to grab for um, doing the work repetitively. I don't remember what kind this is. I just picked this up at the hardware store one day. Uh, normally, I will do this outside. Um, even on today, it's not freezing outside, but hot water works better than cold water. And I want to get these really, really clean before I mend them. So I'm not doing like a half, half ass job today on that. Make sure that's down so I don't get sprayed and give this like, woo, the water heater was empty, so I kind of get it primed. But I'm going to get this guy going. Got some hot water going in there now. And I'm just going to fill this up. And normally with my work jeans, I will do a pre-soak. So I'm just going to throw these in here without any detergent. Got a little steel in the water. There we go. I'm going to toss these in here with some hot water and I'm going to plunge them and wring them out and I've got warm water today. Yay! That's all there is to it. You 
Sweet. Now, um, you're going to be tempted to want to get under there and really start moving everything around. But the real key component is just keep the water sloshing. That's going to be your main um, cleansing thing. Because as long as the water's sloshing and the clothes are moving, then everything's sort of getting clean. Okay? So don't get too carried away with like forcing the plunger all the way down in the bucket and pulling it all the way back out. You don't need to do that. You just need to keep the water moving and agitating. Okay, free rinse complete. Also, it doesn't hurt to rinse this thing out. If I'm outside, I'll go ahead and spray that out with the hose, but. I said these are work clothes. I don't need them super duper clean. I just need to get them where they're useful and functional. And so with my jeans, I've always got a little bit of concrete down here on the bottom. Um, you could call this tough stains or whatever. So you just take these and rub them together. And this is the part your washing machine will screw up because it doesn't really get in here and get these. But, um, so you can overcompensate by agitating too much like most washing machines do and then you end up tearing up your clothes. And that's why you can't throw certain things in the washing machine. Or you could do this even with your regular laundry before you toss it in and just kind of soaked and get some of this extra stuff off and then I'm not going to do a super ring out but just enough to get most of the dirty water back out of these so I started with a bucket of fresh clean water and now I've got a bucket of cement basically go ahead and dump that out um, put these up here so they don't get soaked in this process the downside of doing this inside is um, this bathtub will like fill up with this nasty water and then uh, you're just getting it right back on your clothes now for the fun part we're gonna add soap Kind of eyeball it. And same thing again. So plunge, 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 plunge. Um, some people go by time, like five, six minutes. I find that you need at least a hundred up and down strokes. And if you're doing them nice and slow, like one per second or one every other second, you still get plenty of agitation. And it's slower, it doesn't consume as much energy, but I'll just count out like 100 strokes. And that seems to work really well for me. Other people go by 5 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. Or just keep plunging until your arm feels like it's going to fall off. And then let it soak, go out, do something back else, and then come back and wring them out. Whatever strategy you want to use, you'll figure out eventually how long it takes to get them clean by how dirty the water gets, essentially. And as the water's still getting dirty, then you're still pulling stuff out. So we'll do one more of these and then I'll empty ring and then we'll fill up the bucket again with regular water and do a rinse cycle or two. And these guys will be ready to go out on the line. When you do your soap cycle, you want to wring them out kind of good because you want to get as much of that soap back out of the jeans as po or out of your clothes as possible. And uh, that way your rinse cycle will be more effective. If you throw these in and they're loaded with soapy water, then most of your rinse cycle is going to be getting the soap out of the jeans and into the water. So everything's still going to be soapy and then you'll have to do a second rinse. It's, uh, it just makes it a little easier if you make sure and wring them out like, pretty good after you wash them. These may not look super clean, but I mean, these have got like iron oxide and all kinds of other stuff. And if you know anything about the history of iron oxide or of dyes in general, like iron oxide is a very good dye that hardly needs a Mordant to uh, 
to stay in clothing basically so that's what you're seeing on here so it's like it's clean but it's still got those iron particles trapped in there kind of coloring it that's just from work so I'm gonna start at the top basically and I just do a squeeze and a twist and then I follow that that twist sort of all the way down you won't have a lot of water dripping off at first but as you work your way to the bottom the water soaks into the the legs and then it all comes out at once at the end voila he's clean and again off-grid line that's hanging way too low and I probably need to build another one a better one but that's how we do that that's how we clean the clothes out here and maybe a little bit different from some of the other videos you see on the, the net these are really close to the ground um, so hopefully that'll give you some ideas like you don't have to go out and buy one of these pre-made uh, little affordable washing machines that end up costing almost as much as a regular washing machine sometime you can get this all done with a five gallon bucket or even just do them straight in the sink um, i like the five gallon bucket because it's mobile like i can do clothes inside i can do clothes outside my rhythm my patterns are all the same um, and i do a lot of this kind of stuff like i think things through before i go and buy something and i try to figure out like the best way for me for my situation to spend the money most effectively to get what I need done and it, this is one of those cases where I just wasn't going to go with the conventional you know everybody else is doing this and so I'll do it too type of approach I'll fix that later um, so as you can see aside from some iron staining pretty much get some clean just clean as a washing machine we get them with the same soap um, harsher detergents and stuff will work a little better too. So just factor that into account. But anyways, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, because I'm doing this kind of crap all the time, like, subscribe, and come back, and I'll see you next time.